Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of The Games Worth Remembering. This episode I'm going to tackle Rez, the trippy cult classic game that nobody in the mainstream culture knows about but needs to remember. Oy, got my hands full today. Look, this, this is one of those games that can be easily misunderstood. You need to know what you're getting into. <laughs> if I were to show you the game right now, you'd probably be more confused than anything. So hopefully, by way of my introduction, you'll know what the game is about, so you won't think I'm just blowing smoke when I say this game is amazing. So the purpose of Res is to experience synesthesia. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, this is on the back of the box. So uh, synesthesia is the phenomenon where basically one sensory or cognitive pathway involuntarily stimulates another. Uh, the most common form of this is where some people actually perceive letters and numbers as being inherently colored. So in Res, the player will be led to see sounds and hear color. It all has to do with how the game combines all of its elements to make one free-flowing sensory experience. The last thing you need to know is that uh, what you're about to see is only half of the experience. The other half you get when you actually play the game is the pounding beat from the controller and uh, the effect your input has on the music. And it's all of these elements that combine to create an experience that is unlike anything else in the market. If you're able to simply let the game envelop you in the world it's created, then you're in for quite a trip. So if you needed to classify the game, it's kind of like Star Fox mixed with frequency. It's a rail shooter, uh, meaning it's on rails. You don't control the direction you fly with your avatar. You just shoot the stuff that's in front of you. But the game also has a really unique uh, visual style. It's all vector graphics. Uh, it's supposed to be set inside of a computer. Uh, and it kind of reminds me of Tron or uh, Frequency. It was a game that Harmonix made before the Guitar Hero franchise. It's really fun, you should check it out. Now hopefully by now you're beginning to see that it's impossible to simply call the game a rail shooter. It's so much more than that. It's about the entire aesthetic experience that the game provides. What you input is so simple, but what comes back to your eyes and ears and hands is so complex. Every lock-on, hit, and explosion that you input creates a sound effect that falls in rhythm to the beat that you hear and feel in your hands, followed by a burst of vibrant color. Starting to make sense yet? And if nothing else, this is a great, hey check this out kind of game. To all of you lucky Xbox 360 owners out there, this is the best $10 you can spend. They released a high definition version of the game in January 08 to their online store, and that includes widescreen, uh, 5.1 surround, and improved audio quality too. So uh, yeah, whenever I get a 360 in the far away future, this would be, this would be the first game I'd be getting. The originals on PS2 and Dreamcast still run between $20 and $50 on eBay. 
They used to be much more expensive than that. Apparently, another company was redistributing them uh, in the last couple of years or so. So yeah, I think I just think it's a really great trend that nowadays we can get games like this coming as downloadable content, so that people who might not have wanted to take the risk of buying it uh, can now get it for ten dollars. Don't even have to leave their couch to look for it. It's awesome. <laughs> So I hope this video was informative. Please give me feedback, and if you liked the video, please rate it 5 stars, I'd really appreciate that. And if the video influenced you to purchase Res, or if you already own Res, I'd love to hear about your experience with the game too. Just post in the comments, and I'll look forward to reading those. Thanks for watching.